In this week's video, I go at full stretch wearing my own flip-flops. I then get a wet chest and nearly fall off my own ladder. I get a face full of water and grime cleaning these filthy wheels and tires and make something very, very glossy. And welcome back to the Paul Dalton Details channel. I am back from North Wales. Yes, finally, after a very, very busy month with wax stock and car shows and the holidays, it's straight back into it. This is a VW Crafter. What? It's a cleaning company. Why are you cleaning a cleaning company's van? Because they are too busy. They work seven days a week and they have two vehicles in the fleet. While I'm doing this one, the other one is out on the road doing its thing. Rather busy these guys are. So we're gonna start rinsing down the arches, tires and wheels. And we have a Neil Fisk C135i. There's the high definition detail stubby gun conversion. And the hose I've got, I get asked about this hose, is a direct hoses upgrade now that thing is around about 15 years old because my friend boyd reese spear car detailing had it before me and it's still going strong a one to six ratio of auto glances all-purpose cleaner now this is the citrus based one i believe i bought that in a bog off in county detailing talking about bog offs this is the bog cleaning brush from easy the easy go brush to give it its full title Fantastic brushes and a tough shine tire scrubbing brush. So as ever, these have probably never seen the light of day as far as cleaning is concerned or proper cleaning. So they're going to require a second hit. There is some corrosion on these um, steel rims. Although they're black, they've got some rust coming through. So while we've got the all-purpose cleaner out, it's time to tackle the exterior. Now the main problem of the day was the summer sunshine. Summer, who said that? Although it wasn't particularly hot, although it was by the time I finished it, well I certainly was, this is a bit of an issue because chemicals start to dry out. Now the idea of this is to coat this in the all-purpose cleaner, that starts breaking down the grime, and then we're gonna coat it with a snow foam and that should seal it in for a longer dwell time. Not gonna lie, I re-coated this van a couple of times in certain areas, because I keep moving the camera around and climbing up on the roof. By the time I come down, things were starting to dry out. I've heard about long dwell time, but that's a little bit too long, Paul. So safety first, wearing the flip-flops this week. I'm wearing the Specky and Paul Talk Detailing t-shirt. If you haven't heard the podcast, I urge you to check it out. I'm tackling a rather neglected area. He'll th thank me for doing this next time he goes to fill up with AdBlue and Diesel. Make sure we get those the right way around. So this is Dodo Juice's TFR based snow foam. Perfect for tackling jobs like this. Just about get to the top at full stretch. Sorry Metro, sat behind. So the great thing about that snow foam lance is it is adjustable in directions. Perfect for jobs like this. Incoming. Put it in a downward function and you can get the roof. Just about get the entire roof. 
Now look at the side of the van. That's the speed things were starting to move. By the time I fiddled and farted around with the camera, it was time to recoat the van again. That was after a rinse. That was back on the ladder and back down the ladder. Yeah, that was the order of the day. But this is what it looks like when it's dwelling. So the lance I'm using is an MTM lance, and that was from Carscope, and that's got Carscope's 40 degree nozzle on the end. Now yes, this kit is expensive, and yes, I do get sent it for free, so I'm a very, very lucky boy. But I think it's worth investing in gear that's gonna last for a long time. I've bought cheap lances in the past from Flea Bay, and they have simply corroded, they don't fit very well, they're tight. Try and get the best you can for your money. That probably sounds like I'm taking a mickey because I get stuff for free. I do buy stuff. I understand that buy once, you know, it, if you're just gonna get gear, don't get cheap gear. It's just not worth it. You're just gonna be replacing it. Oh, there's a man who's happy in his work. So although on camera this doesn't look that grubby, believe you me, it is grubby. It's quite difficult to capture this all on camera and not get the camera completely soaked. Talking about soaking, it's Dodo Juices, born to be mild now. Great for hard water areas. If only I could have bought this van back full of Welsh water, I would have done. That stuff is incredible. They don't have it hard like we do down here i.e. watermarks. So we're going to coat the entire van in the shampoo. This makes it so much easier because the panels are already pre-soaked and high in lubricity, especially when it comes to the roof. That makes it so much easier to clean the roof. Yes, you've got to take a bucket up there. And here we go. More snow foam being added. Sorry, shampoo. Don't judge me and don't try this at home. Full stretch on a rather wobbly ladder. So because the area is nice and flat, the water sits on the top and all the foam and it makes it easier to glide your mitt over. Not so easy when you go to rinse it. And yes, that is a wrap on the bonnet, where well, the center is anyway. Ah, oh, yes, the water running into the armpit shot, lovely. So yes, lots and lots of rinty poos with this vehicle. Once I've done the shampoo stage, things were starting to look a damn sight better. Probably thinking, hang on a minute, you've just rinsed that. That's what I mean, that was a problem. Koshkemi FSE. This is a mild lime scale water deposit remover. And now this is a dedicated water spot remover. This is purged from auto glands. You can just about make it out to the right of that deadlock. There is a stain. Spray this on, let it do its thing, and simply buff it off. Here we go, main event. This is Garage Therapy's Sigma V2. Now, I had V1, and V1 blew me away. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link up in the top of the screen. What's the main differences between V2 and V1? V2, in my opinion, is far slicker. And... I hate to say it, it's even more glossy. Now, I still maintain that this product is one of the, if not the easiest ways to get gloss and protection on your vehicle. It's so simple. Two or three spritz on the panel or on a cloth. Let it sit for a bit, work it in, move on to another panel, and then simply buff it off from the first panel. So let it dwell for a bit, a little bit like a wax, 
but not too long. Now there have been some people who say they're getting some streaking issues with this, simply because you may be over applying it. If you do come across those problems, then simply get a moist MF microfiber towel and simply level the product off like you would with most products. It is so glossy and so slick. Make sure you keep hold of that microfiber, it's probably going to get dropped. It's the fastest way to get gloss on your car and I still maintain that to this day. And what's better is it smells fantastic. Now, how long does it last? Wow. Put your sunglasses on kids, that's glossy. So it's been extended from a six week period to nine weeks. You'll get nine weeks longevity. Or longevity if you like, because that's even longer. So I'm pretty glad I chose to do this on a van because a van is larger, it's more difficult, but it's made easier by this product. But I've done it on a car, it would have been even easier. So yes, this is kind of like a, a QD, it's kind of like a quick detailer, but is it a hybrid? I'm not too sure. So if you look at the garage therapy range, you've got CS, which is rather like their spray coating. You can actually use it in conjunction with that. Lunch break, you've got time for that. And then just top over your existing protection. And in between, you can use the garage therapy quick detailer, which only lasts around about two to three weeks. I always keep a bottle of that in the back of the car, especially when I go on holiday. So you're going to require two cloths for this, one to apply and one to buff off. It is that simple. So the main thing for this is water behavior. You think I'm going to coat that in water after for some bathing shots? No. No way. I was going in for a cup of tea. Now you can use this on headlights. I wouldn't recommend you use it on trims. Try and just keep it on your panels. Now, thankfully, by this stage of the game, the sun had gone in and I could relax. Glass next. And yes, I've got Gary Serapi's glass cleaner. So on the black trim, I use CarPro Pearl, and on the tires, I actually use the Turtle Wax, the graphene tire dressing. Still not sure about that product. And these are the end shots. This is what we were left with. Super glossy, protection laid down. One very, very happy customer. If you like the video, don't forget to put a thumbs up, interact in the comment section. And please, please, please subscribe. And I'll be back with more content pretty soon. Tatty bye.